overly excited. It's been too long. Two weeks is too long a time to go without wittering at you for 20 minutes about random stuff. Now, if you haven't already noticed, I am quite buzzed. I am quite annoying right now. I'm one of those overly excitable people. And this only happens when I get a decent night's sleep. And because I've now been off almost a week and have been to visit my family, I have rested and recuperated and I've been getting eight to 12 hours sleep a night and I am feeling great. Perhaps the teaching profession isn't for me. So I'm going to enjoy and revel in the fact that for the next five weeks, I have freedom to do lots of videos for you guys and I get to sleep. So it's a win-win situation for all. Let's just get into this week's Lush Kitchen menu. The first product coming out on Monday is something called Squeaky Green Solid Shampoo Bar. Every time a kitchen menu comes out, I try to justify in my head why I should buy a certain product, even though I have billions of Lush products to use and I don't need that product and I don't love that product. But Squeaky Green is one that when I saw the menu, I thought, oh, I can buy one of those. I haven't had one of those in two months. But I have told myself that this week in the Lush kitchen, I am not going to buy anything aside from well, I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Now, Squeaky Green Solid Shampoo Bar shares its scent with the Go Green range. And behind me, I have the Solid Perfume version, and I'm lucky enough to have the body spray. Just in case you guys thought I was lying, there is the Go Green body spray. Now, this used to be a regular product. It was one of the products that was discontinued last year. And it's one of those solid shampoo bars that is in the disc form. This is a Karma one, this is not uh, Squeaky Green. This one is a lovely subtle smell. Where is Go Green? I'm gonna spray myself now just to remember the smell. But Go Green is quite a pungent smell. It's a really nice smell, very fresh, very green, very lovely. But the actual shampoo bar is not as strong as that. It's much more subtle. I said in my review that it's for fans of grass because it is a gentle green smell. So this product has cut nettles, rosemary and peppermint as the sort of top baseline smell. And just like this body spray here, you can definitely smell the peppermint, but it is minty, but the other elements sort of take away the mint element to it. So it's not a I wouldn't describe it as being a minty smell. The shampoo bar also features both rose and vanilla. They both offer a very slight sweetness to the smell, but I wouldn't say the vanilla is very prevalent in all fairness. You get the rose more than the vanilla. What was special about the shampoo bar is actually it was the first shampoo bar that Lush featured noodles in the product. And noodles are great because they feature lots and lots of protein in there and they're really good at cleaning the hair. So you get replenished hair that adds volume to it and it's just lovely. Overall, it was a really nice shampoo bar. It wasn't something that jumped out to me as being amazing. I would use it again for sure but it's not one of my favorite shampoo bars from Lush. But if you like Go Green and you're missing that scent, it's definitely one worth picking up. Also coming up on Monday is Powder Puff Deodorant Powder. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I don't use Lush deodorants. That's the one area of Lush that I'm not 100% sold on. I do use them, but I sweat an awful lot because I tend to work out. Um, when I'm not being lazy as I have been the last few months but I tend to work out five to six times a week and I'm very active in my job and I just don't find that Lush deodorants do what I want them to do. Powder Puff deodorant powder is one that I have kept but I don't use as a deodorant powder. I use this like I would do a dusting powder. First of all for those new to Lush and are wondering what in goodness knows what is a dusting powder or a deodorant powder. This is just a replacement for a roll-on or a spray. So rather than rolling it on and having a lot of chemicals and there's lots of iron and titanium and lots of metals in a lot of the deodorants you get in shops, a lot of sulfur and sulfate that actually blocks pores and causes damage and buildup of 
yucky nasty things in your skin this is the natural alternative and what you're supposed to do after you've had a shower and you've dried yourself down is just to pat and rub some of this under your armpit and it's supposed to soak up that sweat and keep you smelling nice and this one along with all of the other powder deodorants can also be used as a foot odorizer so I tend to use it more as that putting a little bit in my shoe, rubbing a bit on my feet when I go out because in this weather you get sweaty, you get hot, your feet start to smell and these are really good for that. I happen to think that Powder Puff is the greatest vegan smelling deodorant powder. What I love about this deodorant is the smell. It's made up of rose petals and rose absolute and you just get a lovely natural rose smell with its natural sweetness. So fans of rose jam will like this but I will say now it doesn't smell like rose jam. It's a little bit like Tisty Tosty but with a very slightly less pungent rose smell. I would say as a deodorant it doesn't work for me, that's not to say it doesn't work full stop, it must work for some people, hence why it's coming back out in the kitchen again, but I would definitely recommend that you buy this just as a dusting powder. This is a great product to sprinkle on your bed just to fragrance your sheets and give you that lovely light rose smell. Coming up on Tuesday, first of all is the Sweet Lips Sugar Scrub. I just accumulate sugar scrubs because I don't tend to use them, even though they taste good, they smell good, and they work well. For those who are new to Lush or don't know what a sugar scrub is, the basic idea is that this is scented and flavoured and features lots and lots of sugar. And the sugar that's featured in these lip scrubs, and in some lip scrubs it's also salt, exfoliate your lips. Once you've exfoliated around your whole mouth, you're left with something that looks a bit like this, like you've just made out with a donut which is not a bad thing. Then all you do is you lick away all the excess sugar and you're left with really nice, soft, smooth lips. Lush lip scrubs are made specifically so that they taste nice. So you won't be tasting soap when you use these and sweet lips just taste of a very gentle, nice, sweet vanilla. This one actually tastes different to how it smells in the pot. In the pot, you just get a really rich, sugary cocoa butter smell. It's actually probably one of my favorite smelling lip scrubs. It does work. For those who are sort of sitting there thinking it's a novelty item and Lush are just doing it for the sake of it, I can honestly say, right this very second, my lips feel softer than they did two minutes ago. These do work. The other product coming out on Tuesday is the Monge 2 Massage Bar. Now, last time I tried to review this on a video, I had people going, it doesn't smell like that. What are you talking about? This is a product that is not vegan. Therefore, I have never tried it and I have never smelled it. I am going by descriptions and reviews that I've read online. When you look at the ingredients list, you can sort of see why people might be confused. There is mango, there is white chocolate, there is honey, there is peppermint, there is vanilla absolute, there is cocoa butter, there is fresh bananas. There are so many smells that it's quite hard to decipher what it might smell like if you've never tried it before. Most people have told me that to them it smells of a minty white chocolate, but sort of a honeyed white chocolate and mint. In terms of whether or not it works, Monge 2 Massage Bar is definitely the massage bar that's been featured the most since the Lush Kitchen opened. Now for those of you who don't know what a massage bar is or how one works, I'm going to breeze over this topic very very quickly because I actually have a video in the making that explains in great detail massage bars and how they work. The basic premise behind a massage bar is it's just solidified oils and butters. You can massage yourself or you can use it as a body lotion etc. So there are lots and lots and lots of other ways that you can use this massage bar. I suppose this is a product that I wish was vegan. If you haven't tried it yet and it sounds intriguing, buy it. It won't sell out immediately so you don't have to panic buy it but it will sell out before the end of the week, I would assume. And on to Wednesday. Strange, alluring Wednesday. The Lush Kitchen has said this about Wednesday. Prepare to go anywhere with an invasion of the freshest kind. Dun, dun, dun. I... This is difficult because I'm not going to say that I know a lot. I don't know a lot about Wednesday, but I do know more than others. Um, all I'm going to say is that all will be revealed on Wednesday, obviously, and that Lush fans who are keen and interested 
should keep their eyes peeled um, for special things. That just sounds like I don't know anything and I've made up loads of stuff for you to get really excited by. I generally do know certain things. Um, I'm not really allowed to speak about them. But um, all will be revealed very soon. And you'll realise why I'm being like this come Wednesday. But it's something to be excited about. It's, it's something, things, things, lots of things. Products, other things to be excited by for Wednesday. So uh, I'm sorry I can't reveal it. I don't like being a tease. I generally don't like being one of those people who goes, na 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 na, I know something you don't know. But I, I'm not allowed to say anything. Lush Kitchen, you're naughty. You know that. You are so naughty, but we love you. So yeah, that's, that's Wednesday. Exciting things. I'm most excited for Wednesday. That's all I can say. I'm really excited for Wednesday. You should be really excited for Wednesday. And that's all I'm going to say. On to Thursday. And the first product coming out on Thursday is the Crystal Solid Deodorant Bar. So Crystal Solid Deodorant Bar is an oval shaped disc with a wax base. It's not the easiest of deodorants. I love the smell of this one. So it was named after one of the original Cosmetics To Go founders, Stan Crystal. And this deodorant is just packed with lemon and lime oil. So you can already sort of get that zestiness coming through the camera. As I said in my review, it smells very similar to Stepping Stone Foot Scrub, which was discontinued last year. So the problem I have with this bar is that Lush suggests that once you've had your shower and you've dried yourself down is you take this bar and you rub it in circular motions under your armpits. And the idea is that it doesn't mask the smell necessarily but it soaks up the sweat. Overall it didn't do a bad job. I don't really know whether or not it would work if you're a seriously active person like I like to think I am. I did find that I did have to keep reapplying the product. The issue I have with these types of deodorant bars is that they don't really rub that much off onto the skin. I tried it on wet underarms as in not sweaty wet as in after the shower I didn't pat this completely dry and just found that the water was saturated into the bar and didn't improve how much came off onto my skin. To me it's not the sort of product that harnesses my confidence in using it because I don't really see the results and I didn't really see the results of this product. Give it a go! It does work. These deodorants must work because they do sell well. I think it's just me and maybe my type of sweating that uh, stops me being able to utilise these products well. Also coming up on Thursday is something called Lip Lime Lip Balm. So Lip Lime Lip Balm was something that I originally got back when it was part of the retro section years ago and I wasn't overly impressed. I am a avid fan of None of Your Beeswax and I just found that this one to me at the time was like a second rate None of Your Beeswax and I sort of shoved the tin to the back, forgot about it, discovered it years later and by that point obviously it was past its sell by date. When the Lush Kitchen brought this out I bought a couple of new tubs to test it out and I really, really loved it. What is great about this lip balm is that it is packed full of so many butters. Obviously it has shea butter, it has cocoa butter in it, but this one also has mango butter and avocado butter. As if that wasn't enough, it is also packed with so many oils. You have grapeseed, you have mango, you have lime, you have Brazilian orange oil, and you have lemon oil. There are so many things in here to make this a really effective lip balm. So what is great about this lip balm? I've just applied some now. It's not a heavy lip balm at all. Some of Lush's lip balms are quite oily. This one is a nice light one. When I first tried it, I smeared it on. I thought, have I got enough on? I can sort of see it on, but I can't feel it. Would it be enough? Is it going to work? And I was so impressed when after a couple of hours, I reapplied some and found that my lips had improved in those two hours. Now I've put this on a matter of minutes ago and already there's not that oiliness sticking to my skin. I can feel it's there but it's not heavy. However it's not oily and greasy and I think that's because all of those oils and all of those butters actually absorb into the lips which is why they're so effective and why it works so quickly. I would highly recommend that you get some. And on to Friday and there's only one product coming out on Friday but we know what Lush are like when there's only one product. Sometimes they sneak products in. Not saying they are going to this week because there's a lot going on Wednesday. But um, yeah, it's coconut deodorant powder.
Now this will probably feature in one of my next or up and coming videos on top 10 products that I wish they'd veganize. As its name suggests, it is holy, holy, holy packed full and smelling of coconut. If you dislike coconut, you'd be the silliest person in the world to grab a deodorant that is called coconut deodorant. It is packed with every form of coconut you can imagine, powdered coconut as well as desiccated coconut and lots of other yummy ingredients. I don't know what it smells like, but I would just imagine looking at the ingredients and the fact it has powdered coconut in is that it's quite a rich a very delicate very gentle coconut smell on the negative side with all of deodorant powders as i've said before they can be rather messy because you have to sort of sprinkle them under your arms or on your hands and rub them in so if you want to wear black clothes i would suggest that you actually apply it and shake yourself down before you put any tops on because I can see it's staining. Again, this could also be used as a dusting powder. So there we have the Lush Kitchen menu for this week. It seems a lot shorter because of uh, Wednesday, but I hope it's been informative. Top three products of the week, and I'm going based on everything rather than just my preferences. I would say if I was going to buy any products this week, Sweet Lips Lip Scrub would be at the top of my wanted list. I'm going to say Powder Puff deodorant powder because I just love the smell and I would say my third product if I could buy it would be the coconut deodorant powder because I think I would love it as well come on lush veganize it please there we have the lush kitchen menu for this week please subscribe if you haven't done so already I have lots of videos in the coming weeks so they're not going to be lush kitchen related I look forward to um certain things next week bye bye